Hey everybody, it's Andy Taylor again with a couple new updates in Tinkercad land. I'm joined by my friend Benny the Bear here. He's fantastic. Don't let his uh, passe nature fool you. Well, so uh, an update on the share function in Tinkercad. So if you go up to the Tinkercad editor and click share, you'll see some new things. First of all, uh, a thumbnail generator. So you can actually create a snapshot of your model based on the camera position. That's fantastic because now you can share it to Facebook, you can download it directly to your, your computer, and then you can re-upload it to, think, to Tinkercad as a, um, a, a preview image of your model. So you can, now you can do custom images. Uh, that's fantastic. But what I really want to talk about is our new My Mini Factory integration. So as you have been able to send a model to Thingiverse, well now you can send it to My Mini Factory. Uh, and that's great. So we're kicking that off this week. It's been live for, or for about a month now. Uh, but we are launching it officially with some new contests that we're having. So let me just show you how to send it to, to My Mini Factory. Easy enough. You click Send to My Mini Factory. You just sign in and it does it automatically. And then you can see your model on My Mini Factory. I've got the window open already. Uh, and there's Benny Bear. You will see this blue banner which says this object is currently under review. That just talks about um, the fact that My Mini Factory... Um, all the all the models that are in their gallery are vetted for 3D printability. So you can download any of their models with assurance that it will print on your printer. So I'm going to go ahead and show you our challenge. Um, we have teamed up with My Mini Factory and a 3D print manu 3D printer manufacturer called BQ uh, to set up a design competition. And we have four categories in this contest. They're all pretty exciting, and these are all based on what users were doing and some of the feedback that I got from events and stuff. So, fidget spinners. <sighs> fidget spinners all day. If you don't know what a fidget spinner is by now, oh man, uh, ask somebody. Fingerboard ramps. I've been wanting to do this for a long time. If you don't know what a fingerboard is, it's this little thing. It's a oddly enough a skateboard that you can ride with your fingers. Um, seems like it's pretty a simple thing. You just oh, oh, I'm skateboard. This is hard, man. You see these guys doing competitions and they can ollie with just two fingers and without a thumb. That's hard, man. I've been trying it all all day and I can't I can't do it. Furniture is another great category. We've seen a lot of entries already for this one. Um, I'm excited to see what people come up with uh, because we see a lot of interiors, a lot of architecture being made in Tinkercad. But then we also see a lot of things that fit in that architecture. So now's an opportunity for you guys to flex. Pots and planters is a great one. I wanted to call this flora because we got fidget fingerboard furniture flora um, but this one's really great I got I got pots and planters and succulent pots 3d printed and otherwise all over the place uh, and it's always really fun to see these cute little designs coming out of Tinkercad um, and those are our four categories the prizes what can you win you go down you win a BQ Witbox 2 3d printer but you can also get some start 3d printers we got a bunch of fingerboards to give away ball bearings and some Tinkercad swag um, this is going to be pretty cool. We're excited about it. So there's already been some really cool stuff coming in. So let's see. Here's some fidget spinners, some planters. This first one's actually really cool. Spiral moire, 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 wind spinner. Uh, and a moire effect is just basically um, a, a, a situation where you have a color with bars and then another color with mother bars and you put them right behind each other and when they cross crisscross there's like a little bit of a ghosting halo effect um you see some of that in tinkercad uh some people are experimenting with that in a digital form and this is going to be uh, a more effect on a spinner so i actually want to see this guy in action anyway there's some really cool stuff being made so get busy the only requirements are that you make a thing in tinkercad upload it through the share function in the Tinkercad editor to my mini factory and you're good to go. Uh, once it's vetted for 3D printability, you're in the contest to win uh, some really great stuff. So that's all for today. Uh, as always, if you guys have any questions, we're on Twitter uh, and Facebook or you can email us directly. Uh, until next time, I'm Andy. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.